Did you enjoy the remainder of the hunt ball, Master Vlad? Oh, yeah. I had a blast. The music, the dancing, the attempted slaying of my father. Did Mr. Grouchy get out the wrong side of the bed? I know what cheer you up. A nice bit. A bubble and squeak. <laughs> he wants a man, not a mouse. He wants to feast on the blood of our enemy, don't you, Vlad? Actually, I was thinking more of cornflakes. Look, Dad, about Mr. Van Helsing, we need to talk. Yeah, I still can't believe you let a slayer slip through your fangs. For once I agree with Mistress Ingrid. You wouldn't have done that 200 years ago. Silence! Mm -hmm. I let him go deliberately. I prefer to catch my prey in the wild. If only you were 16 and had your full vampire powers, you could fly along with me. Oh, I'm gutted. So will Van Helsing be when Master's finished with him? <laughs> with you. I'm nearly 16. I'll be a vampire way before him. Get help from a girl. <laughs> we are the men of the house and we can fight our own battles. While I stay home cooking and cleaning, I suppose. Excellent. Renfield, you're fired. Don't huh? eat garlic. Uh, Renfield, keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. Maybe 600 years ago you could bite your neighbours and battle with slayers, but not now. Not here. This is Stokely. They have zebra crossings. So unless you want us to get chased out of town again, I suggest we make friends with the Slayers. Friends! Vampires and Slayers can never be friends. We're opposites. We're sun and moon, life and death, steak and chips. Anyone? Huh? Van Helsing dies tonight. <laughs> A vampire cannot enter a dwelling without first being invited in. So why all the extra security? Well, I don't know. I just thought it might be a good idea now that the Count is trying to kill us. We shouldn't be sitting here waiting to be bitten. We should launch a surprise attack on the castle tonight. I thought you said slaying was so boring it made gardening look fun. Yeah, well, that's when I thought you were... crazy. Sorry. That's OK, son. When my dad told me he was a vampire slayer, I laughed in his face. <laughs> then he made me wash my mouth out with garlic water. Oh, nice. <laughs> but he taught me the first rule of slaying. Protect your family. Which is why I'm sending you to live with your mother. What? You'll be safe there. I don't want to be safe. I want to help. We're a team now. We're the amazing Van Helsings. <laughs> OK. That sounds like a circus act. Well, please let me stay. It's all arranged. You booked on a train after school. I'm sorry, Jono. Jonathan. <laughs> all I need is a guinea pig. <laughs> or a stuffed wolf. Sheldon. Here, boy. 
If you're addressing me, you boil-infested buffoon, may I remind you I am not a boy. And resent being ordered about like some simple-minded dog. Hmm. Excited since 1906. Uh, remember that can can dancer from the Moulin Rouge? Uh, the slayer that tried to stake me with a stiletto shoe. Mm. She was O positive with just a hint of juniper berries. Mm. See if we have a bottle left in the cellar. Nice shasta. Renfield, what have you been doing? I mean, setting tracks for Van Helsing. I've got the whole castle covered. He won't get in, you idiot! I want him to get in! We have nothing to fear from a pathetic slayer like him. Mm. Throw open the doors and windows. He can't hurt me. Mm -hmm. ah! Not now, you pustulary missile of it tonight! Ah! Ah! Relax. Mr. Van Helsing won't slay you at school. You wait till you're at home, alone. Where were you last night when the vampires were trying to suck our blood? I was tied up. Oh, I see. You have something more important to do than saving my family. No, I mean, Mr. Van Helsing tied me up. By the time I got to the castle, you were safely home. Yeah, no thanks to you. It won't happen again. I promise. Vlad, that's a promise you can't keep. I'm sorry, but I'm never setting foot in that castle again. And neither should you, Robin. So we dump our friend just because his dad might drain us of blood? Nobody is going to be drained of blood. I'm going to find a way for vampires and breathe... Sorry, people to get along. No more fighting. Get ready to fight, weirdo. Well, you certainly got your work cut out. Shut up, weirdo number two. I won't fight you. Good. That makes it easy for me. Leave them. Apparently, Vlad can fight his own battles. Problems cannot be solved by violence. Isn't that right, Mr. Van Helsing? Yes, you're right. Violence is... bad. I just want us to be friends. That's the spirit, Vlad. I'm not shaking the hand of a vampire. Vampire? Vlad's a vampire, and we're slayers. What is he talking about? I have no idea. Dad! He's been under a lot of stress lately. He's going to stay with his mother for a while. This is all your fault, vampire! The U-Bend blockage led to a methane buildup in the toilet. They tried to get rid of the smell by lighting a scented candle. Kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> Looked like someone had thrown in a poo grenade. <laughs> How many times have I told you I won't have sewage at my dinner table? Is Vlad okay? What do you care? I thought you weren't his friend anymore. Oh, sensible move, Clay. I found me a right bunch of oddballs. You just don't like anyone who isn't wearing a boiler suit. Ingrid's all right. She lets us keep our lunch money some days. Oh, yes, she's all heart. I know she can be difficult, but I feel sorry for her and Vlad. It can't be easy growing up without a mother. Well, I feel sorry for us having to be neighbours with them. I don't want you going to the castle anymore, do you hear? Sorry, ma'am. I'm not hungry. I'm going to see Vlad. Elizabeth, say something. Oh. Give this cherry pie to Mr. Count. He was looking a bit peaky last night. I'll be back by nine o'clock, or else you're grounded. For a month. Eat. Come on, John, now let's not part like this. Why did you take me slaying if you didn't want me fighting vampires? Because one day I want you to become a great slayer. Just not today. The 
sun will set soon. I should get back to the caravan while it's still light. I'm old enough to see myself onto a train. <clears throat> I'll send for you when this is all over. Hmm? kill Van Helsing. And? We have to stop him. Have you got sunstroke? Fighting slayers is one of the perks of being a vampire. That and looking great in black. See, that's old school thinking. So you think Dad should hang up his fangs? He's stuck in the past. It's about time we made peace with the slayers. There'll be no more talk of peace between vampires and slayers. War must end. Slayers will always be our enemy. We shall bite them on the beaches. We shall bite them in the fields and in the streets. We shall bite them in the hills. We shall never surrender. <laughs> That is so cool. That is not cool. He's going to attack Van Helsing. He's locked it. Hello? Who's there? Get me, Dracula! I'm more afraid of vampires! If I don't get back by nine, I'll be grounded for a month. Robin, my dad is going to kill our woodwork teacher. Point taken. I'll see you at the bottom. Hopefully in one piece. Listen, Kay. You know, you really are evil. on the door. And said, <laughs> little pig, little pig, please let me in. <laughs> no, no, said the little pig, not by the hair, on my chinny chin chin. <laughs> Your 
Oh, Satan. <laughs> you forget! The little pig kills the wolf in the end, so come on in! If you're feeling lucky. So nice of you to invite me in. Van Helsing, our whole future is at stake. In a non-pointy wood kind of way. Someone mentioned my name. You're not dead. Not last time I checked. Pity. Now, where's your father? Uh, he's gone to Spain to top up his town. You'll know when he's back. Because you'll have two holes in your neck. <laughs> Caught in your own trap. How ironic. <laughs> Mr. Van Helsing, wait. We don't have to keep fighting. Let's try living together in peace. No slaying, no biting. A truce? What do you think? <laughs> Can't you do anything right, you useless bag of bones? You were just distracting me. You were devious as your father. You got it all wrong. I was just trying to help. Oh, you can help me, all right. Tell your master to give himself up if he wants to see his kids again. Dad, Robbie's not back from the castle and it's gone nine o'clock. That boy's going from bad to worse. Stop fretting. I'm sure Mr. Cantor will send him home soon. Chloe, bed. Well, if he doesn't, you can always go up and give him some more of your cherry pie. Next victim. Victim? Help me. Mm. Oh, so now you want help from weirdo number two. Please. You know, kidnapping is kind of illegal. Give Van Helsing a message. Tell him to give himself up if he ever wants to see his son again. Okay, but while I'm gone, no biting. I thought I told you to take down all your stupid traps. You're supposed to be babysitting, not hanging around like a fool. Now, don't give that an Ingrid. I want to show them my catch. Well, you see, the thing is, sire, they've gone out. They said, don't wait up, because they might be late. Uh, young hell. Going somewhere. What a dump. You should really cut back on your garlic bills and spend some money on a house. You think because you live in a castle you're better than me? No. I'm better than you because I'm a vampire. <laughs> Vampires, slayers, what's the difference? So we all stop fighting and become one big happy family. What are you two doing here? Having a sing-along. What does it look like? You think this is funny? Well, sort of. You and the Count have kidnapped each other's kids. <laughs> Don't try and bluff me. <laughs> John knows that his mum's probably unpacking his suitcase as we speak. <laughs> Do you mean that one? You're fighting on the wrong side, Jonathan. A hundred years from now, I will still be standing here, and you will be the dust under my feet. A hundred years? How will you cope with the boredom? I mean, you've got broadband. Immortality is a gift and a curse. I am the flame that burns forever, never to go out. 
Renfield! Ah! Yes, your most wonderful lordship. Tell Van Helsing I would like my offspring back. Oh, but as I told you, my master, that and Ingrid are safe and well. They just popped to the... I will deal with you later. Oh. It would seem we've reached a stalemate. <laughs> or perhaps not. Oh, nice move. What? Very well. Let Vladimir go, and I'll give myself up. Uh, what about me? Oh, yes. I suppose you better let her go, too. Don't do it, Dad. He'll slay you. No, I won't. I'll interrogate him first. Then I'll slay him. This is the price of peace, Vlad. If you try to escape, his bow will break, releasing the deadly garlic juice. Hmm. Ingenious. Don't fix me any dinner. I'll be eating out. <laughs> this is a total disaster. What are we going to do? I say we finish the Slayers once and for all. How are we supposed to fight Mr. Van Helsing when he's so much bigger than us? I've got a plan. Well, I do like your caravan. It's like a large coffin on wheels. Sit. Mm. Isn't it customary for the condemned man to choose his final meal? You're not a man. You're a menace. Feeding up the weak. And the vulnerable and spreading my evil curse across the land, blah, blah, blah. I've heard it all before. But you won't be hearing it again. You're going to give me the names and locations of every vampire you know. Jono, step outside. What, well, Dad? You can't send him outside. You'll miss all the fun. Now, Jono. Come on, 
I'm feeling kind of busy. The hearse is gone! Something tells me this isn't going to end well. Shame! And we were having such fun! Au revoir. Mes amis! Dad. I need a wee. Said that our dad is freewheeling around Stokely with a couple of slayers. And what a lark it was, too. <laughs> dad? <sighs> you know, son... I think slaying the Count is gonna be harder than we thought. the Van Helsings. It was fantastic. Uh, just who do you think you are, keeping my son out till all hours? You may let your children run wild, but that is not the Branner way. Please accept my most humble apologies. Robin was assisting us in a uh, family emergency. He was? You've raised a very caring and considerate son. He has? Oh, well, that's uh, very kind of you to say so. Come on, Robin. Let's get home. My knees are freezing. Oh, and please, thank Elizabeth for that delicious cherry pie. What? I can't be nice to breathers once in a while. I'm a breather. Oh, 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 that's not nice! And neither is letting my children be captured by my sworn enemy. So... What did you do to the Van Helsings? You butchered them, right? Unfortunately not. I guess we can't be friends with the Slayers. Sorry, Dad. Defeating them may be harder than I thought, but it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs>